asked Dan Schneider. I recently received an email from someone named Kale or Kelly. I can't tell uh, if it was male or female. Kale or Kelly asked if I could live in another time, what time would that be? Would it be in the future or would it be in the past? Um, you know, this is a classic question that a lot of people uh, will ask other people. It's not necessarily something that would be uh, specific to me. Um, you know, it's basically would I like to live in a Jetsons-like future or a Flintstones-like past? Um, would I rather be in a world filled with dinosaurs or a world filled with uh, interstellar travel? Um, I don't know. I've never really given much thought of that. Um, yes, life tends to get better in a lot of ways. One can look at the, the future and say, the odds are probably pretty high that human beings in 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 5,000, 25,000 years, assuming we last and don't kill ourselves, will be better off than we are today. Um, having said that, I don't know if if that's uh, necessarily something, you know, you could say, I want to live there. Um, there are certainly things about the future that could be deemed scary, such as, uh, uh, people who are cyborgs or, you know, people, if it's possible to upload uh, consciousness into machines. I don't know if I'd want to be a machine. I'd always want to be what I am. But it, there certainly is going to be a future where man and machine probably intermix and we probably will explore the cosmos. That's a grand future. Equally so, uh, looking back, if people could go back in time, would you want to go back in time uh, and see dinosaurs? Certainly. But then again, there's also the butterfly effect. I wouldn't want to accidentally crush the common ancestor of all mammals, all human beings, say, if I stepped on them accidentally. So um, I don't know if I would go backwards or forwards in time. I wouldn't mind getting little glimpses of what the future looked like, uh, getting glimpses of uh, historical events where Genghis Khan was buried. Uh, who was uh, at the grassy knoll when uh, JFK was shot, those kinds of questions. But in answer to the question in total, no, I don't think I'd rather live in a different time. Uh, in my own lifetime, 1965 to 2015, this half century thus far that I have existed, mankind has gone to the moon. Mankind has sent machines that have explored a good portion of the solar system. We have eliminated lots of diseases that were killers when I was born. We have, we're on the cusp of possibly a, a genomic revolution that in the next couple of decades may eliminate many more diseases. We are uh, suffering from global warming, it's true. There are other things such as uh, uh, antibiotics becoming redundant or ineffective in the future. But overall, I think mankind is on a much better path. We are less violent than we ever were in our history. So I think I'd like to see how the near future of hopefully a few more decades of my own life plays out. But after that, you know, I'll I'll be dead and it will not matter to me. Uh, it's one of the reasons I became an artist is for people to take my stuff and use it in the future to see what the past was like. So Kale or Kaylee, I would have to say, no, I don't think I would want to live in any other time, but now, at least reasonably speaking.